Hey, this is Mike. Check out this uh, 2015 Jeep Wrangler um, Sport in black. Now this one's all black with the black fenders and a black hard top. It has the aluminum wheels. Really sharp looking one. Got the fog lights here in the front. You've got the one, one color bumper cover there. Steps on the side. Here's the inside of the passenger door. Now to access the back seat, um, you kind of have to you kind of have to use this side only. It's hard to do with one hand. All right. Anyway, like that, and. There's the back seat there, and you're kind of limited on your space to kind of squeeze in there. It's not like you can, it's not like a four door where you can easily get in and out of the back door, back seat, but it is there and you can use it. And the seat kind of folds up like that. Putting it back, you just kind of push it back in place. Make sure it snaps in place before you start driving. And this one has the cloth black leather seat, and not leather, but cloth seats, black. Window stick here. I'm going to leave all this information in the description of the video. Now, one one thing you'll notice: uh, this is a trail rated vehicle, so it has really heavy duty seals around the door. So you really have to give the door a slam to get it to shut all the way. That's especially important with the remote start vehicles. This one doesn't have it. But on the ones with remote start, if the door's not all the way shut, they will not remote start. Got your towing package on this one, spare tire. Now this opens up. And since it's a hard top, it does have the privacy glass, so you can has a little bit of tint. This opens up, since it's a hard top, you can access the back pretty easy. You got this bag here for putting your t-top portion of the hard tops in and strapping it to the back of the seat here's a little Jeep mat right here and this is reversible it has the rubber diamond plating on the other side and this thing lifts up and you got a little storage pocket under here now if this were to have the premium Alpine sound system this storage space would be taken up taken up by the um, by the subwoofer and amplifier so that's something to consider that back tailgate doesn't need to be slammed as hard as the side doors you see those are two pieces up there a, it's actually a three-piece hardtop. You've got your two sections in the front, and then you got this one big section. Here's the inside of the driver's door. You've got a little net there to keep things secure while you're bouncing around on a trail. Manual adjustments on the on the seats. And I'm gonna go ahead and hop in. I'm going to adjust the seat for me. All right. Let me get the key. Start it up. Get some AC going. Here's the steering wheel. Now this is a sport, but it does have quite a few features here. Uh, it has the cruise control. Got the volume on the back of the steering wheel change to the stations on the back of the steering wheel on this side and um, you got a nice Jeep emblem there now right here you've got a button for your Bluetooth this system does have Bluetooth and satellite radio stuff like that voice recognition which is really handy uh, you also have a some menu buttons here that correspond to this menu system here uh, we'll see where it says NW and a 75. NW means I'm facing northwest. 75 is the temperature outside. Feels a little bit warmer to me out there. But um, anyway, 75 degrees outside. 
and so like say I want to go get some more information so I push that menu button I can go into a digital speedometer push the menu again I can go to find different information tire pressure vehicle info I can go down and see the temperature and pressure and stuff like that pretty cool stuff so I'm gonna go back there but that's the buttons there for that got a store quick uh, access um, storage pocket right there now here's your radio this is more of a this is like a uh, more of a standard radio but it does have some cool features like the satellite radio it has a CD player that plays mp3s it also has an auxiliary input right there and Bluetooth so you can uh, play music through the Bluetooth on your phone or whatever Bluetooth device you have and you can also um, you know take calls and stuff like that power window controls are here in the center climate controls are down here hopefully this fans the air is not blowing on the camera and ruining the video but sometimes the I gotta make sure that the air is not blowing directly on the camera it'll make a bunch of noise climate control right here and fan speed temperature and where you want the air to blow now you've got your side mirror controls there with this little joystick traction control you can turn that off there downhill descent in case you're going downhill on a kind of a loose gravel situation uh, you can push that button here's a power supply net pocket four drive controls there you got like a little pen holder down here this little storage pocket now there's your shifter I'm gonna go ahead and put it in drive to show you something because it does have an auto stick feature when you bump the shifter to the right or left you can actually change the gears not too much I mean you can go a gear or two um, higher or lower it's not going to make you mess your transmission up or anything but to um, I'm going to put it back in drive but to find out what gear you're in you see where it says drive I'm going to bump it to the right it says one bump it to the right again it says two now if I bump it anymore right now it's not going to do it because I'm not going anywhere now if I want to go back and drive, I just hold it to the right. It goes back and drive. Right here is your emergency brake, cup holders, center console. Now this center console is lockable, but it has two parts. Um, you you'll feel two buttons under here. One is a small one, which opens up a small pocket here. And um, you've got places for wires to go in and out of. You can put your phone or something in there or just anything. Now down here you've got a power supply, 12 volt power supply. You also have a USB charger as well and you've got a place for the wires to go in and out of that compartment as well. Glove compartment is here. It is lockable. Now having the center console and the lockable glove compartment and that compartment in the back those are three different places where you can secure your stuff even if the tops off the doors are off and everything you still have some level of securing your stuff now, of course if somebody had like a crowbar or something they could probably break in but I mean you know it just keeps things out of sight and you know not e easily readily available there's a rear view mirror it is an auto dim rear view mirror you got the Jeep symbol up there you got a little Jeep climbing up the corner of the glass there which is pretty cool you have these little Jeep symbols and people call Easter eggs everywhere on the vehicle it's kind of neat you got visors with mirrors no lights though there's your what I call t-tops you've got your section here and the section here and that's separate from the back portion Looks like we've got a police situation over here while I'm doing my video, pulling somebody over. Maybe they don't have their seatbelt on, so they gotta get gotta get some cops coming on or something. Anyway, there's your speaker right there. It's a little bit different from the, the 14s. So let's look underneath the hood.
there. So there's your um, 3.6 liter Panasonic V6. Gets good gas mileage, has plenty of power. Really good engine. Uh, Chrysler puts a lot of that in a lot of different vehicles. And um, so the parts are readily available, the technicians are trained on it. It's a really good engine. Now you notice things are in yellow. Those are the things that you can check on your own that you would normally check. Anyways, if you have any questions, my name is Mike and my phone number and email address will be in the description. And if you have anything to add, like if you know more than I do, which is very possible, about this vehicle and if maybe I got something wrong or if I missed out on explaining something, uh, just leave it in the comments. I really need to, I uh, really want to improve my videos to make them more useful to anybody that, that wants to watch them. So if you have anything to add, please leave it in the uh, comment section and, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.